So guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a first impression on the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Liquid Concealer. Super long name, I know, but we are going to be trying it out today. I'm going to give you guys my full thoughts, my first impression, let you guys know what I think about it and really kind of just dive into it and give you guys the claims, let you know if I stand by the claims and whatnot. So if you guys are interested in this type of video and you guys will love to see my thoughts on this new concealer, then please continue watching. So this retails for $11.99. First, you guys always know I love to read the claims, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm reading the claims off the Ulta website. So it says that this Maybelline Superstay Act Wear liquid concealer is a full coverage and delivers up to 30 hours of wear this matte concealer wipes out dark circles and imperfections benefits are transfer resistant formula provides a second skin feel i like that and comfort curve flex applicator provides even and easy application breathable and lightweight with a light air formula paraben free that is really all that it says here on this Ulta website but that's enough for me to like kind of give what this concealer is supposed to do I believe there was like about 16 shades to choose from at least that's where I saw at the Ulta that I went to I went with the shade 20 I was gonna go with the shade 30 I believe it was but when I was like kind of looking at them in the store you know you just could never tell so if this one doesn't work for me you guys know I will just go back and buy like the right shade but I did pick up this one in the shade 20 20. let's go ahead and try it out put a little bit of foundation and all that on my face because i was going to film something else i'm going to go ahead and apply this concealer now that little plastic thing opens and at least nobody at least i know nobody's used it i love the packaging by the way this feels like a little glass right there and look at the spoolie on this it is so small but it like looks like it'll be so good like if you got the right shade, it would be perfect for like your under your brows. I like it so far. I like the applicator. What I'm going to do is call my son because he is being so loud on his key. I think he finished his homework and now he decides to go in his room. Yeah. Can you keep it down and shut the door to your room, please? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Hi. He's literally like two doors away it's so loud right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply right under my eye and I'm gonna try just one that gives me like a nice, ooh, it feels very liquidy formula. And it's very thin consistency. Wow, okay. That's a very liquidy formula. I think the shade is good. I, I honestly think that the shade's gonna work well. I'm gonna go ahead and blend with my e.l.f. sponge. Should I let this dry? Cause it feels so liquidy. I'm like, how is this full coverage? I wonder if it's like a buildable coverage. Probably is, I'm sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it is because most concealers you can kind of build but this formula seems very liquidy. Ooh, okay. Wow. That blended into the under eye so beautifully. I am here for it. Okay, so it's supposed to like get rid of dark circles. And you guys can tell, like I have some really dark dark circles going on right here i didn't put no color corrector because i really want to see and i still feel like i see the darkness under my eye like the darkness right under here still let's see so sh i wonder if i should build it up a little bit yeah that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put a little bit more right here and i'm gonna let that kind of dry down just a little bit i have these dark spots right here too so let me kind of let that lay there I don't really like to put light concealer on my dark spots. I like to use like a very uh, close to my skin tone type of like concealer because I feel like when you use a really light concealer on your dark spots, it just emphasizes the darkness more. Like you can see it peeking through. So I feel like if you use a concealer or a foundation that's full coverage and you put it on your dark spots or any type of breakout, it just blends in and looks more seamless. Let's see if that covered that a little bit. I do have one right here, but I wanna see what this one looks like first before I start <laughs> applying more. I let it sit for a little bit, so I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. It does blend in very lovely, lovely. <laughs> 
it does blend in really good um it is a very lightweight formula i will definitely say that i can't tell yet if it's covering my dark circles okay that looks a little better okay that looks okay um i feel like it did kind of cover a little bit more of the darkness under my eye let me blend this right here okay it kind of got rid of that darkness right there but i still feel like i should have went in with a more like a concealer that's more my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more concealer now on the other eye. You can just see the difference. Like it looks so like youthful over here and over here I just look like, girl, you do not sleep. It's a very liquidy formula. Like I, I like that, but I wonder if that's the reason why I'm not getting like all that full coverage effect. I'm gonna let that sit under my eye. On this side, I am gonna use a brush. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. concealer brush. This is one of my favorite brushes, you guys. If you're looking for a really nice, flawless concealer brush, I highly recommend this e.l.f. one. I love it so much. It's like one of my go-tos like on my everyday makeup. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in <laughs> before it dries up. Oh yeah, don't let it sit too long or else it'll dry up. I like it better with the sponge. It's getting real streaky. I don't like that. I kind of let this concealer like stay a little bit longer and I feel like it covered a little bit more, but I don't see how it's getting rid of my dark circles. Like I still feel like my dark circles are peeking through. So with that being said, we're gonna apply some more. <laughs> I'm gonna apply it just right here and right here. I just want to see that buildable coverage. It is a very lightweight formula. I will definitely say that that's true. Very liquidy, very true. I can't stand behind it claiming to cover your dark circles. Let's go ahead and blend it. It doesn't look bad though. Like it's not a bad concealer. I don't know if I'd gravitate towards it a lot. I feel so far the concealer is sitting pretty well. I feel like under the eye, it hasn't like creased or anything. I did apply it three times on this side and only two times on this side. I feel like because I applied more on this side and I let it sit longer that it gave it more coverage, but just don't let it sit too long because the formula does dry up pretty fast. I'll have to see what it sits like when you put powder and all that. Cause sometimes some concealers, like when you actually apply setting powder, that's when you start seeing the creasing. Let me go ahead and apply some setting powder. The only one I have right here is the Laura Mercier Translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this one. I do see it creasing over here. I'm not gonna apply more than what I did already because I already did like three layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here to kind of set under my eye. Yee, okay. Mm. Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I can already tell. I'm noticing a little bit more creasing with this formula. How strange. I It can be the powder because I use this powder all the time and I don't have that problem with this, but I do feel like I am seeing some, some creasing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera, see how the concealer is working, and then I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts. Wait a minute, before I let you guys go, I was reading on the website right now before I <laughs> turned off the camera and I saw that it's a matte concealer. So because it's a matte concealer, you don't really have to set, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I set my concealers no matter what. Like that's just my thing, I have to set it. I don't care if it's a translucent powder or if it's just like my next can't stop, won't stop powder like I have to set under my eyes I didn't follow what it says like you don't have to set because it does have that matte finish so that's probably why it's looking pretty dry under the eye but it doesn't look bad like it doesn't look horrible but it doesn't look like all the other concealers I have so I just wanted to come back on and just let you guys know that so now I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup all right guys I'm back so it okay I kind of took my time doing my makeup. I think it took me like, well, 45 minutes because I was kind of doing other things. But so far, this is what the concealer is looking like. To be very honest with you guys, I feel like it's doing pretty well. I don't feel like it's changed at all. I don't feel like the creases got worse or anything. I don't even really feel like 
there are some creases like around here am i just overthinking it you know what i mean i don't I don't think they look bad. I honestly could say like this looks pretty decent right now. I could leave out the house and feel very confident <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I like the way it's looking so far. So unfortunately, I'm not able to do an all day wear test. This is really just like a first impression of the concealer. And only thing I will say is that in the description box, I will leave you guys a little bit more info because I will be using this during the week for work and I'll let you guys know how it held up because I will be using it more than eight hours. So I will apply it again in the morning and use it for eight hours and let you guys know in the description box or I'll probably just pop back on to this video. Who knows? But I really, you guys know I love giving you guys wear tests, but because I am filming this so late in the day, I am unable to. Most of the time, I can't even really say sometimes that I can right away say I'm never gonna use it again or I'm not gonna like it. I do have to use it continuously so I feel like this kind of works because I can use it a little bit more and give it a few more days of using it and then really tell you guys how I feel about it. So I probably will end up doing that or it will be in the description box for you guys. So far, I really kind of just wanna say the concealer is looking okay. Do I feel like it's a full coverage? No, I will definitely say it's a very medium coverage. You guys saw me apply it three times and honestly, I don't feel like I got full coverage at all. It's a matte type of formula, so I do wanna say that's probably why it looks a little bit like, like a very little bit, you can kind of tell like the dryness around here, but not so bad. Like it doesn't look horrible. I've tried other concealers where it's cracked on me so bad. This one, hasn't done that. I think tomorrow what I'm gonna do is probably wear it without setting powder and see how it works. If I can go without using it with setting powder, I'll see if it just stands and looks beautiful and looks the same. If it starts to crease, I'll let you guys know. I feel like it all comes down to what you're looking for in a concealer. So if you're looking for something that is full coverage, you don't have to put much effort in, this concealer is not the one. I will say if you're looking for something to kind of just give you, you know, some some sort of coverage. You don't really have dark circles, so you're just looking for something to be a little bit more easier. You don't have to use setting powder. You just, just apply it and go. You have like that really beautiful, smooth skin, very youthful, clear skin. I feel like this would be perfect for you. But like I said, if you're that full coverage queen, like myself, who needs some coverage, yeah, this one isn't for you. I will give it one to 10, 10 being the greatest. I am gonna give it for now. I will give it about an eight because I do like it. I just have to see how I feel about it later on. But yeah, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have tried this concealer or what are your thoughts on this concealer if you have tried it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And I'll see you guys on my next video very soon. Bye guys.